stop paying GitHub Copilot with this local and open source alternative. Guys, I want to share with you a tool that I've already shared in this channel a few months ago, but it has significantly improved. And at the moment, I think this is the best alternative for having a, a Copilot assistant um, to help you code. Uh, I will show you in a moment how exactly to set this up. If you're using, if you have a GPU, we are going to use Olama. And if you don't have GPU, we can use Grok and connect via API and have this um, amazing GitHub uh, Visual Studio Code extension work for us. Before I show you everything, uh, I just want to show you this Eval Plus leaderboard, which basically shows you um, different models, how they perform um, with regards to code. So as you can see over here, we have GPT-4 Turbo, GPT-4 Turbo, GPT-4, Claude, DeepSea Coder, which has been for many, uh, for a long period of time, I consider the best uh, open source, open source uh, coder. But now, I, I mean, I didn't know about Code Quan 1.57B chat, which seems to be producing amazing results. As you can see over here in this specific test, it produced uh, a score of 78.7, which was higher than Claude Opus and slightly lower than GPT-4s. Obviously, GPT-4 Turbo, the new version, yielded better results. But as you can see here in a different model, in a different uh, type of test, it also yielded pretty good results. And this is amazing if you would like to run this code locally with a small uh, model and keep everything private. So this is the GitHub, this is the hugging face page of this specific uh, model. So as you can see, code Quan is a code specific version of Quan 1.5. It is a transformer based decoder only language model pre-trained on large amount of data of codes. So it has strong code generation capabilities and competitive performance across a series of benchmarks. It supports long context understanding and, genera and generation with context length of 64,000 tokens. And it supports, nine, it supports 92 coding languages, excellent performance in text to XUL, bug fixes, and bug fixes, etc. Now, um, in order to use this code in Visual Studio Code, we are going to leverage and use Continue. Continue is a GitHub is a Visual Studio Code extension which you can install right here. You come here to the extension tab in uh, Visual Studio Code. You write Continue look for this icon, and then you click the install button. In my case, I already have it installed, so you don't have the install button, but you have the uninstall button. Make sure to select the one with this icon that was produced by the continue.dev team. If you're interested to learn more about continue and how to um, get started with continue, basically you can also come to the website and just click a button and it will automatically uh, install it in Visual Studio Code, as you can see here. You can also install it on JetBrains, which is a different IDE. Now, um, let's cover how to use Continue. So basically, Continue is allows you to generate code, edit code, um, refactor code very easily. You also have the auto-completion code suggestions ability, refactoring, asking questions about specific code base, so you can take a documentation or you can take a specific code and ask a question about it and continue using the powered by the LLM will produce the result for you or the answers as you can see here. So, and which is also cool. You can also understand uh, terminal errors very easily. And I will show you in a moment how exactly it looks like, but check out their um, documentation because it's pretty extensive and is working pretty well. Now let's move on to the installation. So assuming that you want to install this completely locally without using Rock, assuming that you have a GPU, what you have to do is you have to install Olama. If you don't know how to install Olama, just come to olama.com, hit the download button and you download based on the specific operating system that you have. If you have Microsoft, Linux, or uh, Apple, you download just the re relevant version. Next, what you have to do, you have to come to the command line 
and you just need to pull this specific model make sure to pull the olama run uh, make sure to use this specific command code quant chat because the code quant chat isn't the model i mean there is the 7b model which is the latest but it's not performing as well as this specific model so make sure to select this one chat and not the 7b model so you copy this into your command line you paste it and it will install i already have it installed so it won't reinstall again you can test if it is working in a moment in a minute it will um, finish the initialization I, I can just send it a message hi can you please code a simple python snake game for me using pygame just to show you that it is working as you can see it's very fast certainly below is a basic implementation of a python snake game using pygame library and as you can see over here this is working so we downloaded olama we pulled the specific model which is called quant chat now we can go back to visual studio code we installed continue and now we come here to this is the continue tab you can also see the extension installed over here or just open it in this tab and now you can select which model you would like to use so basically you can connect open ai you can connect anthropic using claude you can connect Olama, you can connect Grok. Um, perhaps I will show you Grok for a second because it's very easy. If you don't have GPU, you can install it via, uh, you can connect via Grok. So you come here, console.grok.com slash keys, create an API key. You copy the API key. You come here, you add the API key, and then you select the relevant model that you would like to use and you're good to go. In our case, we already have Llama 70B. And as you can see here, I can start discussing with Llama 70B. Can you write a Python snake game for me? And this is using Grok and you will see it is very fast as you can see because Grok is so fast as you can see it generated the code very fast. You can come here, apply to current file. So I can just apply this to current file. I can insert this code at the cursor. So let's say I want to add this code over here. So I click here and it imported it. Or I can obviously copy the code. Let's say oh. I want to write code from scratch. So what you can do is control I. And here you can give it a prompt. Can you please write um let's think of something can you please write a code for generating or concatenating for concatenating to audio files i want to have a python Front end. So this okay. The instructions are not so clear because I just uh, improvise this, but it is supposed to do this very fa pretty fast. Okay, so from PyDub, import audio segment, concatenate audio files, sound one, sound two. As you can see here, but it doesn't have. I'd like. So. We can what we can do here is we can do various things so we can come here then continue and here you can see all the abilities that you can do you can fix the code fix the grammar generate new code open a new section a new session um, view history a lot of stuff that you can do so in my case i want to take this and I want to ask a follow-up question. So what you can do here, you can add context. So based on the context that you provide, you can ask questions. So let's say I want this file to be as the context. So this is the context. I want a front end GUI 
for this. So it created a, this is what I expected. It, it, it uh, created the front-end GUI with the Takinte or however you pronounce this. So what I can do here, I will just copy this, paste it here, and let's run this code, see what happens. I'm missing pip install pydub. But as you can see here, what is, it's very cool that basically what you can do, you can select different contexts. So as context, you can select all specific files or a code base or a specific code or documentation or even what we have in the terminal. So terminal, am I good to go? So it is reading the terminal. Yes, you're good to go. The message in installing collected packages, PyDub indicates that PyDub library is being installed, which is a requirement for your script to work. Once the installation is complete, you can run your script using Python and it should work as expected. You can do this by saving the script as the file and then running it using Python. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. I can also ask follow-up questions. I can change the context, etc. So this is pretty much, I mean, there is also autocomplete abilities which you can use here. Let me see. Um, let's start doing this. Let me show you. Let's see. Let's do it like this. As you can see, audio segment. It knows how to autocomplete. Basically, just hit the tab button whenever it, it, it's just something. I can just hit the tab button. Let's copy this again. Let's no. Let's say let's say this file. I need your help with finishing this file. As you can see, it will generate the code pretty fast. Okay, so this is amazing. This is by far the most convenient tool uh, coding assistance that I know of. So far, I've showed you how to use it with Grok uh, via API, and this is why it's so fast. But the downside of using Grok uh, is it's using the cloud and it's not 100% local. So let's also check the, the ability of using, as we showed before, using Olama. So what we can do is come here, hit the plus button, go down to Olama, and then select auto detect. It will auto detect the models that you have installed. You can obviously change the context, temperature, stuff like this, but I don't think you need to do so. Just hit the auto detect button it will auto detect all the models that you have installed on Olama. And then you come here and you select the relevant models that you would like. In my case, Olama code one chat. Let's open a new instance. Let's create a new file just for the sake of, just for showing you. So control I write a Python code that connects to audio files based on user selection. I want the Kinter as GUI as well. And it will start generating the code. It is using Olama code one. And as you can see, it's just writing the code for me. And this is 100% local. I can select here accept all or reject all. So let's say accept. Now um, let's do like this. No, I want to select the other file, the new file, which I haven't gave it a name yet. Let's let's save this. Test seventy. Okay. Add context. Can you write a documentation for this code? Just showing you the abilities. Certainly, here's a detailed description of what the test PyScript does. 
So this is the documentation. And it is using Olama, which is 100% locally. Um, okay, I think that you get the gist. It's pretty amazing. I think it's by far. I mean, I, I know people. Some some people use Codium. I played with it a bit, but I I prefer Continue. I think it's it works better. And the real big breakthrough for me is the fact that I found this Code Quan, which is pretty powerful. And also using Grok is also a great alternative, which is very fast. And when you use Grok, you can use Olama, and the most powerful model, and then you get great results. I guess that's it for today, guys. Highly recommend checking out Continue, the Visual Studio Code extension. Obviously, if you don't have Olama yet, uh, make sure to download Olama and start using it and check out this amazing uh, model code Quan 1.57B chat. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Obviously, if you can share the video with your friends, it would be amazing, highly appreciated. And until next time, keep on automating.